So welcome. This is Author Talk Short Shorts. We're doing a series of Author Talk Shorts with our friends Roxanne Berkey and Charles Breakfield. Um, they are also known as Breakfield and Berkey. They are the authors of the Enigma book series that you can see behind them. Um, you will see, and we're going to talk about how many books they have and what are what what's planned. What are the are, are are there any plans? I mean, so let's talk about that with you guys today. Is that okay, Rox? And Charles? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, great. So, what are the future plans? Well, before that, let's talk about uh, the Enigma threat. We're, that is now available for pre-order. Make sure we get that in. So if you go to the, um, do you want them to go to your website, you guys, or where to go to pre-order the book? It's on the website to pre-order. Go directly to Amazon, um, The Enigma Threat, um, Breakfield, and it'll come up instantly. And Amy, can you remember when we post this author talk short to put the link, the Amazon link in there for them? So, uh, because it is available. And I learned something, you guys, about the print book. Because remember, I was so concerned that the print book is available. And yet, I did exactly what you said, Roxanne. You said, if you click on it, uh, which I did, and it would not let me buy it. It said, I mean, I could pre I, But you know what I found out? I could actually go ahead and pay for it now and pre-order it. That's new. That's a new Amazon. Piece. I know. I was so excited. I'm like, oh, I could pay for it now. So, so anyone that wants the hard copy, um, it will not be available for Christmas gifts. So don't even go there. It will not be available until January. January 8th is the launch of the book. And it will be then that you will be, if you have pre-ordered the book, which I have before with other books, you'll be notified that the book has been shipped. And um, I think that's when they actually charge your credit card as well. That's correct. So, so go now, go now to, uh, to the Enigma, to Amazon, the Enigma Threat, or to the enigmabookseries.com. Is that the website? Yep. Great. Okay, so now, where did you get the idea for the Enigma Threat? And how, where do you get ideas for other future books? Well, um, the Enigma threat is actually uh, um, uh, uh, the next uh, installment in the uh, artificial intelligent wars that we started with book number 11. Book number 11, um, we left off, um, you know, it was a satisfying ending, uh, but there's, we always like to leave um, a footprint for the next, uh, the next book. And that's what the, the, the book 12 picks up where book number 11 uh, had left some threads hanging. Uh, and so uh, the artificial intelligent wars is something that's really kind of uh, top of mind. It gets, uh, gets people uh, really animated because they think, oh, this is a, a great way to be able to go. Uh, and then some people get uh, frightened because like uh, jobs, um, decision-making, uh, all going to machines that uh, work in, uh, in, in these, uh, these giant data centers like, uh, uh, some of our uh, adversaries are, uh, are, uh, are mentioned. <clears throat> so um, we explore that and we, uh, we did something a little different like we always try to do with all the books. We took all the characters in the threat and then turned everything upside down and dumped it on the table. And then it's, it's much like a, a puzzle uh, that you get where you put pieces together and, and, uh, uh, and the story evolves based on these pieces um, merging into the final. So I think it kind of begins with the cover of the Enigma Threat. And one thing that's very important about the cover of the Enigma Threat is it is representative of Gracie. Now, Gracie, at this point in time, um, she is the daughter of one of the original R Group family members. Um, and she happens to also be a twin. But between book one and book 12, which is the Enigma Threat, it's roughly about 20, 21 years, something like that, that, that the, the span of time. So Gracie is part of the next generation of leaders. And so she's a marketing director, she works at World Bank, and she is trying to track down some really, really bad um, supercomputers 
um, that, that are focused on machine learning. So that's on the front of the cover. And then on the back of the cover, thanks to our wonderful graphic designer for book covers, Rebecca Finkel, her twin brother, Juan, is hiding on the back of that cover because he also works for the R group in a different capacity and they work together. So we're now getting into that next generation of cyber good guys. Yep. So a lot of fun uh, with the uh, uh, with this particular story. Um, the genre editor, you know, shot it back to us saying, oh, "This is great stuff. This is great stuff." So uh, we're uh, we're pleased with the uh, uh, this particular uh, release. Nice. So how many books do you think your series is going to have? If you guys are already on book twelve, how far do you think you're going to go with it? Well, it's funny you should ask that because uh, there doesn't seem to be any shortage of um, uh, cyber threats in the uh, on, on the planet I mean just as soon as you think you get one stomped out two more take its place I was looking at uh, another another topic I do a lot of uh, uh, I still do a lot of uh, research work for uh, the company I'm currently working for and uh, ransomware has, uh, has taken on a new uh, a new face um, a new face it, it used to be um, Somebody made a mistake. You click on a file. They download some junk to your machine. So everything's encrypted. And uh, for a thousand thousand dollars in bitcoins, uh, we'll uh, we'll, we'll uh, release it, give you the code for it. It's now turned into a problem where um, they'll park the ransomware on your um, your machine or your your data center and start exfiltrating data for months, and then blackmail. The company saying, uh, if you don't give us the uh, now this uh, this much money, hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, it's always in Bitcoin usually or Monero, um, which is cryptocurrencies, which is what I was in book ten. Um, then uh, the if you don't pay, then they'll publish all of your data on the internet, your customer list, uh, anything that you're doing is a little bit underhanded, some of your accounting practices, um, but there's no way to be able to guarantee that you're data will ever be destroyed after you pay the ransom. And so they're starting to fall back into this, uh, this scenario where, um, yeah, well, you paid me two, two months ago, uh, I need more money. So, so they're actually, you know, from a, what our plans are right now, there's probably at least seven more books that are kind of roughed out, but the next seven are much more in a novella kind of a format. And that's going to be really, really special. We'll be announcing more on that in, in January, but it primarily focuses on this next generation of our group heroes, starting with with Gracie. Um, so it's it's a very different approach, but there are no end to threats in technology. None. Yeah. So it's uh, we have we have some we have more material to cover. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I can see that. And, and we're going to have a lot more questions for you in other author talk shorts, too, because that just gave me some questions to be thinking about. And one of them is, as we work with you, um, helping you with your publicity and your marketing, and we always look at who your audience is. And we, you know, you and I have spent some time just sitting around talking about that. But what Roxanne was just saying, or what both of you were saying about threat is sounds like a lot of your books are not for not intended for the average user i mean this is more like high tech high high tech like you know corporations or people that are in the it business it world because some of the things that you just talked about i have no clue what you're talking about um, so that's a good point, Sandy. We do try and make sure that if there is uh, some terms or functions that we're using inside of a book, and, and we categorize these as techno thrillers. We also, at the end of each book, we kind of have um, you know, a reference area so that there, are, there might be some terms that people are not comfortable with, like encryption is a big one that in, appears in most of the books. And encryption is where you know, the material is hidden from easy um, deciphering by other people, however you do that. And there's lots of different ways to do that. Um, and they're all based on, funny as it seems, the Enigma machine. So you all know what the Enigma machine is, right, Sandy? I mean, kind of. 
I would not be able to explain it to anyone for sure. Okay, but well, when, but yep. it's not anything that when I see it, I'm like, what the heck is that either? So I'm kind of in the middle of that one. So basically it's an appliance. And uh, on one side, you actually- Okay, let, let, me stop, let me stop you. Because okay. we've already gone over on this one. So All right. All right. I want to save that because I want to know right. from what you guys talk about, what is, is it the Enigma machine or a Enigma? Are there more than one or is it just there one? Are. There were different models that were created and they were all created in the early part of the um, 20th century. So I can't wait. That's going to be on one of our future so you guys listening, stay tuned. We got lots more good stuff for you from Charles Brakeville and Roxanne Berkey, who are Brakeville and Berkey, the authors of the Enigma series books. You can see them all in the background. So um, join us again for another Author Talk Short. Thank, Thank you, Sandy. Sandy. Thanks, Sandy.